Hey, 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 guys, this is Hawkeye, and I am back with another episode of Fishing Planet Classic. And we are here in Russia at the Oktuba River. Finally was able to get to that point. And I have looked at this briefly and was able to locate a good fishing spot for the beluga sturgeon. This I know you cannot keep for money, but I really want to catch another one of these guys because these fish get very, very large. I don't think they're they're the biggest fish in the game any longer, but they used to be. Now, what we're going to do is we're just going to be fishing off the bank, and we are in a downswing on the peak based on this uh, map at this point. So we're going to have to advance time a little bit, probably to 7 p.m. But there's a lot of good species here. There's the asp, which we've seen before, and they come in unique. The bluga, only in common. We've got blue bream. I haven't seen those yet. That's uh, I think they are also found in a couple of the other uh, fisheries, but I don't think I've seen too many of those. The chubs come in unique. We got the common bream that's here. We've got common carp, which get up to unique size. We got common roach, which is kind of a unique size. Almost everything here is unique. We got the Eurasian ruffy which uh, we used to see in that one a lot in Russian fishing. And it only comes in common size. We've got the Gungeon. We've got the European Perch, which is, seems to be everywhere. The Eyed, another good species. Here's the Monkey Golby. Uh, I don't think I've caught one of those guys. Uh, there, I did catch it on the, the Fisher Online. And we got Prussian carp, we got the round goby, which does come in a trophy size, silver bream, tench, Volga Xander, the Wells catfish, which seem to be found everywhere, regular Xander, which goes in a unique, and something called a Zij, which not sure how big they are. It looks like they're eh, fairly decent size, around 10 to 18 inches caught only with live baits so may have to see what we can do about catching those guys in the future anyway guys we're gonna come back here and go fishing at this spot but before we do anything we are gonna have to advance time all right we are here Things seem relatively quiet. Now the place I'm going to be fishing at for the most part is going to be under this bridge. Looks like we just missed the train. <laughs> yeah, we had a little bit of a lapse there, guys. Uh, for some reason, around 1 o'clock at night, sometimes we lose connection. I think that has to do with server updates. But let's go ahead and advance time to 7 p.m. Actually, before we do that, let's make sure that that's still the same, because sometimes when the server updates happen, it's because the peak times change. Okay, we were going to get ourselves to 7 p.m. It's a little bit lighter, not kind of gloomy, though, all around. Let's go ahead and set up our rod pod here. Lots of good things that we can catch out here. Let's see, we've got... We've got some large cut bait on this one. We got I'm trying to figure out if we should go with this or something entirely different. Yeah, I think I'm going to change this to crayfish. Let's see if we can go for the sturgeon or the catfish. Catfish will go for that too. Let's open up our opportunities here, guys. All right, let's get this one ready. Here's the one with the crayfish. I'm going to throw that a little further over this way, even though the floats mark the boundaries. 
It looks like we've already got a bite. Can't really tell what it is, but I don't think it's a beluga. Yep, we got us a Wells catfish, regular common size. And we already have about 237 pounds of fish in there. Let's see, we got something biting on that one. Now I've got a shiner on this one. We're going to throw that under there as well. And then we got the float rod here and we're going to throw that right above all that. Now since the update we, that was made to the game you can now zoom way in and see that bobber perfectly. I think I might put a crayfish on this one. That may increase our odds of getting the sturgeon. Now they we can't turn it in for cash, but we can get a lot of XP off of it. Let me see what we got on this one, though, first. Whatever this is, is not big. Ah, Xander. There you go, guys. Now that's a regular Xander, not a Volga Xander. Take the tension down on that too, just in case. Looks like number one again. Got to watch the tension on these really close. Another good size wells. He's about 12 pounds. Try casting this over here. Mix this up a little bit. Comes the train back again. Looks like the middle one this time. And it is off the crayfish. Okay, he's coming in slowly. Sturgeon are actually pretty good fighters, I will say. I'm kind of amazed by that. That's what this is. And now he's taking it back out again. Dang on it.
two hours later. This is getting ridiculous. Let's see here. Come on, fish. Okay, we are so close here. I can't get any less than 20. There we got him finally. Jeez. Oh, good lord. No wonder, guys. <laughs> I knew that's what we had. It's not the biggest one I've got. As it says here, though, you can't take this fish, otherwise you'll get a $25,000 fine. Or you could try your luck, for, and you might get 2518 Not going to do it. <laughs> anyway, let's take a look at him. We might as well get a picture with him. Let's see. P. There we go. Now that, my friends, is a fish. Let's get here in the sun here a little bit. That's a big fish. Yeah, these guys are protected. That's why they have a fine for them. You can catch them. You can take a picture with them, but you better release them. Well, we got some serious XP for him. But that is the beluga sturgeon, guys. Not 100% certain, but I think it's, if not the biggest freshwater fish, it's definitely one of the, one of the biggest. Well, let's see what we lost here, because I know we lost a few lines of stuff. Toss that back out. Yeah, that was a heck of a fight. Now, I have caught one. I did catch one when I was here the first time at 125 feet. But I caught him on a bigger rod. Still, he was quite a fight. They are definitely major fighters. But I think we're going to switch this back over and see if we can't continue catching our catfish to fill our net. And get some money. Because <laughs> that's what we really need. Let's see here. Um, try to find something that that Zige goes for. I'd like to catch one of them. I don't know. I think there might be eels here. I'm not sure about that. Let me see here. Maybe not. No, I don't think there are eels. <coughs> but it looks like the Zige goes for red ones, wax worms. Okay, we'll just see if we can't find one. We'll go with a smaller hook. Uh, let's go with the number two hook because it looks like they're fairly small. There we 
we got blood worms here. There's wax. Let's do wax worms. Let's see if these guys are out there. got on here shiner yeah that can get an assortment of things let's put one of those mole crickets on here because that will definitely get the wells Let's see, what does the Xander go for here? Since probably the small spoons here, let me go. Let's do a narrow spoon. It's not too light. That's perfect. It's going to be nighttime soon, so we'll use the night one. Let's see if we can get some Xander action here. There we go. And we're getting bites on all corners here. Let's see what this is first. Damn. There's a trophy Xander, guys. I'm thinking this is a Wells. Maybe a trophy wells. Yeah, at least. Because he is not coming easily. There we go. Nice. Yep, I knew he was at least a trophy. Let's see what he looks like size-wise here. Yeah, these are some big fishes in these... Big fishes? <laughs> big fish in these waters. Wish the light was better here, guys. Sorry about that. Yeah, that's a nice one. That we can keep. They love that mole cricket larva. I'm not sure about the crankbaits here. Let's continue using this. Definitely found a good spot for the Xander. And Xander really go for the narrow spoons. Uh, another thing you can use if you want to use uh, bottom fishing or float fishing, try the minnows, the small minnows, or the uh, leeches. They go for those as well. Okay, I think he does. Okay, let's see if we can get him. Now this is off maggots. Or no, wax worms. Let's 
see what we got here. Ah, unique silver bream. Very nice. Yeah, they're not huge, obviously. It's the first unique for this waterway. Okay, looks like we've got one on number three. Again. The wax worms. Here we got a young common bream. You see, he's bigger than the unique silver bream. Yeah, this is probably a Wells catfish, but. Well, maybe not. Doesn't look like one. Yeah, it's a young one. Let's see what we got here. This time of night, it could be just about anything. Thinking it's still Wells catfish. Yeah, it is. Regular size common. <laughs> Let's try. All right, now it's night time. I could change the dynamics of this all together. Especially with the lures I'm using. Let me try this for the Xander one more time. I think we'll have to call this an episode. Got to see a few different things this time. few things that we haven't seen before. There we go. I was right off the bat. There we go. Another Xander. It's seriously dark. Seems like the catfish have slowed down a little bit. Have to check the peak, see what that looks like when we get a chance. Like I said, there's some seriously deep water right here. Damn, they are really biting out there tonight. This is a significant fish, whatever it is. He's putting up quite the fight. And that's a Xander, so he's got to be a decent size. Unique Xander. Awesome, guys. Not bad. That's the second one. And we can't really get a good look at him, but that's a unique sander. Eleven twenty-eight. 
I don't know what the heck's on this one. Ah, too late. <laughs> oh well. Yeah, we're gonna have to be cutting this short pretty soon anyway, because we're our net's about full. But yeah, the Xander are really biting over here, and that is a good thing. Might have to get one more try here, guys. They like that particular lure. That one is a nighttime lure. Yep, this is just the hot spot and it's the hot time. <whistles> Trophy European perch. Alright guys, like I said, we are just about out of time here, unless something goes off on this thing. Anyway guys, as I always say, aim straight, cast far, and have fun. And I will see you later. Bye bye.